Welcome to How to Repair Your Own Legend Now. We appreciate your coming here and getting information from us. And we've just got a little bit of some bookkeeping kinds of things here to go over with you as we start. We're going to cover the four areas of this that, that we feel are really important. We call that assess, correct, make over, and monitor. Right. So we're going to cover those things. We would like you there on the webinar, you can type in questions to us. You can see that right there on your screen right now. Uh, we can't get to all these questions right here. We know that. I'll be monitoring over here as Dr. Mark is doing some other things over there. I'll be monitoring what these questions are and I'll jot down some of these questions and we'll answer some in those four areas. And every time we finish an area, we'll answer a couple questions, maybe one or two questions and then we'll right. move on. But rest assured, I mean, feel free to put in uh, your questions now because we will yes. answer all of your questions. It's just that the ones we can't get to during the webinar itself, we're going to send you back by email. Right, we'll email you. And if you send us a really awesome question, we may actually create a whole podcast about it uh, separately afterwards because we love to answer questions. We would definitely recommend you, you learn the one camera, one take technique and start doing that. Um, but if you're in that emergency mode where you need to just create content fast to get out there simply to move things off those pages, um, if you have PowerPoint, uh, or if you're a Mac person like we are and you have um, Keynote, Keynote, I mean, they both have the ability to record your actual presentation. So look at presentations. You probably already have a whole bunch of these from presentations that you've done in your professional career. If you've not, you know, put together four or five slides really quickly about a topic and use that record function. Guess what? You've got a video now. You can put that right up on YouTube. You're putting out useful information, some tips for people about your profession. If you're an accountant, putting out some tax advice. Um, if you're in a hurry, you can review other people's sites and do reviews of their blog posts. I mean, uh, you know, figuring out how to create some quick content is not difficult. Well, that's you right. got to do it. You and we've, see, we've seen people that will take a blog post that they've already done, they'll figure out what the sub-headlines are of that, that's what they'll put onto the video as they read the thing. Right, you can do a voiceover. You and know. so simply a voiceover going on there. It's not a difficult thing to do. It may not be the most uh, awe-inspiring. We like things to be have a little bit more personality and really show who right. you are, but we'll get to that in the next right. section. We'll talk about that in the makeover. Now you, yeah. well, right now you're just trying to correct, correct damage that you on. found. And so the key thing is figuring out how you're going to move things off those first three pages of the search results. And that, as I said, is much more about quantity than quality. Get as much quality right off the bat as you can, but move quickly, find things that you've already got on your computer that you can record um, using, as I said, PowerPoint or Keynote, or if you have some screen capture, things like Camtasia, or we like ScreenFlow on the Mac, you can do almost anything. You can review your own website and, and do a voiceover and do that. Just get content out there, uh, get other people to give you some testimonials, either on video or even if it's just text, again, you do as a PowerPoint showing those testimonials. You want to get your reputation going in the right direction, in the positive direction, but lots of little bits. Don't try to do it all in one piece because that just counts as one thing. You want to churn out a whole bunch of little tiny bits because those all become separate little posts all over the internet. Then. Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Osmond. And when you search your name online, what do you find? That's right. You, we always recommend that you go to Google, go to the search engine, search yourself, your keywords, do an assessment, look at what you find. Is that an accurate reflection of who you are and how you want to appear to people when they look for you? That's right, because we have Create Your Own Legend now, and we're helping people really build up that legend about themselves online so that when people search for them, they really see the side of them that they want. And it's three to ten pages deep of information about you that you control. But Charlie, but what happens when you do that assessment, you're in those first three pages and you find either it's not a good reflection of you or someone has posted negative reviews about you or negative information or inaccurate information. What are right. you supposed to do? People exactly. keep asking us that. People keep coming to us about that. So we're going to cover that in this webinar. I'm really thrilled with the outline that we've come up with for this webinar. So on Tuesday, we want you to join us on this webinar. See what it is to create that legend about yourself. Grow that personal side of you that other people can see. But when there's a problem, 
you need to be able to take care of that, and that's what we're going to be able to help you with on this webinar. That's right. So just click the link here, go to the registration page. We're going to give you our four-part system for how you're going to repair going to your own legend. And you can choose on the registration form what time on Tuesday is going to work best for you. We're going to do this a couple of times on Tuesday. Right. So click that link, go sign up for this webinar, and learn how to create your own legend, and if there's a problem, how to repair your own legend now. Join us on the webinar.